So with that, we bring in the Texas governor, Greg Abbott, and Arizona governor, Doug Ducey. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me this afternoon. Um, governor Abbott, if I may start with you, uh, you saw your interview with Sean Hannity. You talked about you, everyone obviously has watched this D.C. program, and the seventh bus is on its way to Washington, D.C. You suggested that you might also be sending buses to Delaware. Are you going to follow through with that? Absolutely. So I can tell you there actually will be an eighth, eighth bus along the way later on today. Uh, we will continue the busing process uh, every single day uh, for the reason that I think you mentioned earlier on, uh, and that is uh, the Biden administration has been dumping off these uh, migrants by the hundreds in local communities that do not have the ability uh, to uh, take care or, or deal with uh, these migrants that are being dropped off, and uh, as opposed to them uh, being there uh, in these small communities uh, or the small communities having to spend money dealing with that we decided to bust them to Washington, D.C. If Biden will not come to the border, we're sending the border to Biden and his administration so they can be, uh, begin to grapple with the challenges that we're dealing with. But also, uh, we will be looking for other locations like uh, Delaware, Biden's home state, to make sure that uh, people in Delaware are going to see what the people in Texas are having to grapple with. Well, you know, I, I don't know why any state should be off the list of places that migrants can be sent. It seems discriminatory not to include all states in this program uh, that we've been watching play out. But just staying with you for one second on this, Governor Abbott, because your authority has been challenged on this. Jen Psaki has challenged it from the podium, and others have said, you know, the border enforcement's always been a federal responsibility. So how are you dealing with that? Are these people really volunteering to get on these buses to go to Washington and potentially Delaware? No. Well, so, so what Jen Psaki said and others have said is, is quite valid, and that is, well, listen, uh, border security has always been a federal government responsibility until the Biden administration. Uh, the Biden administration has abandoned its responsibility to secure the border, uh, even more dangerous. Uh, the Biden administration has abandoned its responsibility for national security because, uh, Martha, as you know, there have been uh, almost two dozen people during the term of the Biden administration who were known uh, as being on the terrorist watch list who have been apprehended coming across uh, the United States border. Mm -hmm. Biden is making our country less secure. And so this, uh, what we are announcing today, which is the American governor's border strike force. This is an indictment on the Biden administration and its failure to do its fundamental job of national security and securing our border. Yeah, but you didn't answer my question. Are they volunteering to go to Washington, sure. D.C., or are they being put on those buses against oh, yeah. their will? Oh, so, Martha, here's what happens. Curious, how is, that's working. These, these are, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to tell you exactly how it works. And these are people who have already been processed by the Border Patrol. They've been given uh, notice to appear papers, which means a notice to disappear, candidly. Uh, and they can go anywhere in the United States they want. And, and so once they've been processed, uh, we, we give them a ride to Washington, D.C. <clears throat> Okay. Um, Governor Ducey, thank you very much for joining us today from Arizona. I want to learn a little bit more about this. The 26 Republican governors who have gotten together to form a border strike force. Um, again, is this, you know, filling a void? And what is it going to look like specifically? Today we are announcing the American Governors Border Strike Force. This is a majority of America's governors stepping up to do what the Biden administration refuses to do. Martha, I think the real story here is the crisis that's happening at our border and the way that the federal government is derelict in its duty. It's not supporting the men and women that are in law enforcement at the city level, the state level, or the county level, in addition to our fine men and women who are border agents and part of Customs and Border Patrol. Lifting Title 42 is a mistake. DHS's own numbers say that would be 18,000 people a day additional streaming over the border. That's 6.5 million in a year. We can't get Joe Biden to the border. Border czar Kamala Harris will not come to the border. And Secretary Mayorkas is non-responsive. So governors are stepping up, working with law enforcement, our fusion centers, and intelligence that we have at the state level to go after these drug cartels to stop this dangerous poison of fentanyl from streaming over our border. The number one leading cause of death for youths in southern Arizona is fentanyl. That is on the Biden administration, and they need to act. Governors are stepping up to do what they refuse to do.
Yeah, uh, we've had the largest influx, uh, really historic influx, of people coming across the border and 100,000 people dying annually from fentanyl. And you know that experience in your own, uh, on your own, Governor. Um, I think it's interesting that Senator Maggie Hassan, a Democrat from New Hampshire, has posted this ad. She's in a tough race in New Hampshire. Here's what she's saying at the border, by the way. Pushing the administration to develop a really strong strategic plan for how we will secure our borders when Title 42 is lifted. You've seen a lot of, uh, of Democrat senators down there at the border, Governor Abbott? They are. Listen, the, uh, Republicans, Democrats, uh, Americans agree by an overwhelming majority that what the Biden administration is doing is wrong in general on border security, but also in particular uh, with regard to lifting uh, the, the Title 42 expulsions. Uh, and the Biden administration and candidly Democrats, they're going to pay a heavy price at the polls in November if they don't change gears extremely quickly. Americans are tired uh, of illegal immigrants flooding into our communities. They're tired of the fentanyl coming in. Uh, they're tired of all of these challenges. Uh, and people are going to be voting uh, to put people in place uh, in office uh, who will secure our border like what President Biden is not doing. Governor Abbott, thank you very much. Governor Ducey, thanks to you.